hit the road If there's no turning back We're gonna hit the road Lisa and I, there used to be this cooking show on the Food Network about baking and the guy was from New York City, I think, and he, he used to have a high voice, Italian guy, he'd be like, that's a lot of fun, Don. Like, you know, you're putting on the cake, or that's a lot of cookies, whoa. So we say it for everything now for the last, the kids started saying it. Yeah. Now we say it for everything. The GPS will say, stay on this highway for 80 miles. So we'll say, that's a lot of miles. We say it for everything. If a sandwich comes, and it's got a, I don't know, a lot of pickles on the plate. That's a lot of pickles. Just a little weird thing we do. That's how we stay together so long. Yeah. In the meantime, That's a lot of years. In the meantime, I'm getting a shower from the Jeep. Because it rained yesterday and... The Jeep leaks. The Jeep leaks. So it's literally like a shower. It's all part of the show. It is. There's a shower. We're There's on our way shower. to Harold's Jewish Deli. Uh, where do you get a load of the sandwiches at this joint? Uh, you think you've seen a sandwich, but you haven't. We hate to keep saying Jersey, 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 but we grew up right outside of Manhattan, which, by the way, let us show you the yeah. skyline. I you can't, can you I can't can flip I, it around. Okay, take it you easy. can't do it. Go All right, ahead check out. and flip it. Hopefully, you can see that skyline. Yeah. Looks like a painting. It looks fake. Can but, you see it? Hold on. Wait for this thing to go away. Right. We're getting lower now. Yeah, well, you get the gist. There's a plane up there, too. But keep anyway. it going because we're coming up to the next hill. No, turn it around, oh. and then we'll talk more. We'll yak it up some more. We're going we'll to, yak it We up. keep saying Jersey food, Jersey food, New York, Jersey. When, when, we're, when we're down in Florida, we're getting pastrami sandwiches or corned beef. It's so tough, and it's not juicy, and it's processed. And there's like, about four slices of pastrami on it. Processed rubbery meat products. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't pastrami and it isn't corned beef. So we're going to show you today New York style Jewish corned beef and pastrami and then you'll say, oh. Now I get now, it. Now check out the yeah, city. Hold All on, right. check it out. All right, take it easy. Empire State Building there. On a on near, I don't know, it'll be on the left in the video probably, and then you can see well, see all these new uh, structures going up that look like ice. They're made of ice. Those are popping up all over Manhattan now. All right, so we'll show you the sandwiches in a few. Yep, it's says Lynnhurst, and that's where the joint is. So we have to uh, pay attention now, or we're gonna pass it. Not pause. Whenever we're driving and uh, I'm in the navigator seat, Lisa's driving and I'm using the GPS, I will I will say, all right, next thing you're doing is this. You're making a turn on Polito Ave in 1.7 miles. It'll be on the right-hand side. Then I'll repeat it. Polito Ave, 1.7 miles, right here. Am I getting off here? I don't know. It's not Polito. One mile. One mile, Polito Ave. Police, One mile. Lisa will navigate, and then she's on her phone doing things, and she's not paying attention, and she'll never tell me. I shouldn't say never, but she'll most of the time forget to tell me what I'm doing. And then I'm like, what am I doing next? He'll Come tell, on. He'll tell me like... 80 miles from now. It's like you'll be turning at exit 149. That's exit 149. 149. Like, All right, maybe you can tell me this in 79 miles. Not now because I'm not going to remember that. But I do tell him. Anyway, I love you. I love you too. Anyway, we're going to Polito Ave in point. Four miles. Point four in a quarter miles. mile, get over. the Polito oh. Avenue exit toward Orion Way. All right, pulling into Harold's Deli. This guy's going to be backing up. Hold on. Oh, yeah. It's happening. Here we go. All right, we are inside Harold's. Look at this menu again. Look at this thing. I mean, it's giant. Here's my hand. The other side. So I already know what I'm getting. So this is what the joint looks like. These Harold's Delis are inside hotels. And then I'm going to go over and show you the pickle bar. 
They got an excellent pickle bar, and I'll show you the sandwiches and stuff in a minute. Okay, check out the pickle bar here. Oh, mama. People outside of Harold's restaurant chilling at the pool. Pretty cool. Lisa's ordering over here. All right, so we got a bunch of a little sample of what they got at the pickle bar here. These two here are very salty and garlicky and tangy and like sort of like the McDonald's pickles. Uh, this is more cucumbery tasting, a much lighter style pickle. Two hot, uh, hot red cherry peppers, another type of dill pickle slice, and then their homemade slaw, which is great with with uh, nice pieces of onion in it and stuff. Not very sweet. And we can get as much as we want and eat as many pickles as we wanna. <laughs> I like pickles. You got a good pickle. Pickles? Okay, I almost don't want to show it to you, but here we go. I'm going to pan over slowly into what a New York-style, Jersey-style, small pastrami sandwich looks like. I got the small. Okay. I got the small. Hold on, I'm coming to you. <laughs> oh, look at all that fat. Look how tender that is. You could see the difference. Look at that. Hold on, let me come back around. It's worth it. Food porn. Look at look at how juicy that is. That's that's pastrami, folks. If it isn't like this, it isn't pastrami. Okay. Look at all that fat in between. All this bacon. All that white in there is the juicy, delicious fat. And check out Lisa's egg salad sandwich. Small. That's a small. Mm -hmm. And then you get a plate of burnt bacon. Oh my god! This literally is the best bacon I've ever had. <laughs> Harold's I'm Deli. All right, now we got a manch. Mm. Look at the size of these cakes right here. Look at the chocolate cake on the bottom. Okay, that's one cake. Look at these cheesecakes. Oh my god. And the slice is the length of the whole yeah. size of the whole cake. Yeah, you get a slice that large. Yeah, this is like 18 inches high. When you need a nice piece of coconut custard pie, you head out to the diner. Oh, yeah. So Frank's in the backyard working on TJ's tattoo. So I thought this is long overdue. I did this uh, freehand kind of funky artwork on the front of our Jeep. But as you can see, it's all faded and kind of ruined. Plus, we have, uh, I added the names of all the grandchildren on here. So in a funky kind of way, we got Ava right there. And we got Landon over here. And I have Jasmine in there, Jazzy it says. So I actually have to add Sierra in here somewhere. So I'm gonna find a cool spot to add her name and brighten it up a little bit and maybe make it look a little bit better. Got the little Rush logo and all that fun stuff. So it's kind of a chillax evening day, so I'm gonna do that. Look, it's perfect out, perfect weather, beautiful blue skies, clouds. Check out this tree. Now you can't really tell in the video, but it's massive. The trunk is huge. Actually, this tree back here behind this white truck has one of the biggest circumferences of a, and is one of the oldest trees in town. So they won't even knock it down. Not that we want it, them to knock it down anyway, but it's a cool tree. I think Frank showed it to you once before. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm gonna do for right now. And uh, just enjoy this amazing weather. So I guess I'll show it to you if it looks any better. Lord only knows. Well, I got basically two thirds of the way done and my marker died out on me. So I gotta go back to Hobby Lobby and get a new one. And this marker is thicker than the other one. So I don't know if I'm thrilled with how it looks, but I got Sierra's name in there. So now everybody's in, all the grandkids. This 
say we got the rush thing we got some cool stuff with frank and i 1982 spear guitar all kinds of cool little hidden things so all right the landscaper's coming this way so i gotta be done but back to hobby lobby oh there's mickey up top too so yeah got a little jersey over here that says home it's pretty cool all right back to the drawing board Let's check the progress on the uh, tattoo here. Well, hi there. Hello. Well, hello. All right. It's looking good. Yeah, so this is TJ's tattoo representing his family. So there are the five spears. One, two, three, Let's four, five. So these are supposed to look like spearheads in the mountains here a little bit. So you got mom and dad and the three boys. One, two, three, four, five. Then you got these windmills up here representing Jessica and her Dutch heritage and you got a little pond over here this isn't finished this is a draft you got a little pond over here representing Lake Mohawk where they live and then we've got a dove wing over here which will look more like a dove wing in the final version uh, representing Jessica's maiden name I think you said all this last time yeah which is devote devote I always say devote, which is devote, which the word dove comes from, or devote comes from the word dove, or devotion, things like that. And then this valley will represent Landon, because his name means valley, and these mountains represent Sierra, which mean mountains. So, it's pretty cool. It is. What do you think, Pop? Hey, what do you think? Stop. <laughs> All right. My father can't have one piece of any type of article of debris. anything, debris, litter, that doesn't belong in the yard. So he's walking around now with a, a bunch of twigs. He literally goes out to the street, up by the edge here, picks up every single piece of paper, bottle top, cigarette butt, anything. Which of course makes the yard look amazing, but it might be a little excessive. So right now we're in Willowbrook Mall, Wayne, New Jersey, and Frank had his coconut custard pie at the diner, and I didn't like anything at the diner, but I also can't go without having dessert. So I just walked the food court, but I had already passed the bake shop, Carlo's Bake Shop, the dude, he's from like the Food Network, the shop originated in um, Hoboken so you've seen the show on TV you know who he is but I was walking past there and spotted some amazing cookies so I tried to control myself and not get one but we all know how that goes so while Frank is chatting with one of his friends on Facebook Messenger, I'm going to grab myself one of these babies and eat it. Or maybe one of these babies. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the cookie, though, because I like cookies. Anyway, again, this is Willowbrook Mall, and that's Carlo's Big Shop. Cookie time. Check out the olive bar here at Fairway in uh, Woodland Park. That's a lot of olives. <laughs> Let's just take a walk around the olive bar. Some artichokes coming up. Look at this. Tomatoes. 
potatoes. Oh my gosh. See? This is the kind of stuff that's in your local supermarket here. Wow. And then and then it goes on. Look. Come on. You're in the mood for cheese? Well, they got cheese. Let's take let's take a walk over to the cheese. Hold on. Excuse me. Do you want cheese? Because I think they have some. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not even kidding around here. That's all cheese. Okay. You want cheese? You want cheese? Yeah, I know. You want cheese? It smells stinky. I love it. Now you got a whole liquor store down there. You got a sandwich bar here. You want seafood? You guys like seafood? Yeah. You guys like meats? I love it. It is. It's freezing in here. Look at these aged steaks. Oh my. Come on, guys. Look at these. Now look at them. The landscapers came and I guess they ruffled up a little something. So he had to get the shovel out. Let's see if he finds anything to pick up. <laughs> oh, he's checking out my artwork. All right, well, he got sidetracked, but I guarantee he'll walk down and find something to pick up. Cause that's what he do. Oh, there he goes. All right, let's look. He also talks to himself a lot, but so does Frank, so. Oh, there we go. We don't want those there. Let's see. Oh, something else. <laughs> he keeps himself busy, am I right? All right. Oh, there's something else. I think he does this like three, four times a day too, but I guess it's kind of like exercise. Yeah, he's doing squats, a little walking, there you go. It's like, it's his workout regime. Ooh, my, he's even almost heading over to the other yard. Ooh, oh, look, there he goes. There he goes. All right, this will probably go on for three hours, so you get the idea. I love you, Pop. He's gonna be able to see it from there. All right, Seinfeld is on. We gotta go.